Can no, it was not, but I'm doing it. Normal. Soft, soft I'm going to leave. Calm, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave all that. Here we go. Let's go. Let's, oh, let's look at the holes real quick. They are different. Okay. So what I always look at is, is the front nine different than the back nine? 80 yards. Oh. All right. Getting some. Welcome to Flushing Meadows Pitch and Putt. This has been on my agenda for a while. Thank you out. Shout out to Jay Rockaway who built this course for us. Um, anytime I see something that looks like this, it always captures my interest because I'm always looking for that quick. Day night chip and putt is amazing. I'm looking for more courses like that. Where it's like it makes you take a wedge, it makes you hit the putter. 80 yards though is not is a is a pitch. And now I'm gonna kick all your asses. Oh, 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 it's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. All right. I like it. I like I didn't it. Know he was out of it on the like hole. <laughs> have you been have you been acquainted um, with your insurance situation, Derby? Because are you aware that there's a discount double check coming your way? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Apparently. <laughs> that guy sitting at home just bitching on podcasts. What a great way is to be. Is he gonna actually come hey, back or is hey, he just Brandon. gonna retire? Who the fuck knows? Brandon. I don't know. Yeah. Yours got retired. <laughs> I got retired. What in the fuck is this? All right, here we go. So we got lawn ornaments on both sides. We're playing off a off a, uh, a country club elite, <laughs> which I like. I like the sign. Very woodsy, olden sign here. All right, this is interesting. All right, 82 yeah. yards. We're playing El Zagel. We're playing El Zagel. Let's do a job. I mean, I, I like that personally because the one bad thing about day night chip and putt is it's the same like 35 yards you get quite a lot. Why aren't we playing El Zingle in the rain right now? <laughs> because we're not masochists? Oh. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe you. Need more booze. <laughs> all right, all right, I got a birdie putt. Flushing Meadows, baby. Here we go. I don't know if I even need my glove for this, if I'm being honest. Because <laughs> I, I think I remember thinking 80 yards was the longest shot we're going to have this entire round. So. But this is what I'm asking for, right? Give me this practice over and over again. A <clears throat> little bit of a I need right. to change that yellow. Right, can't. I need to change that yellow to like a blue. Yeah, this skyline. It's like weird when the sky changes a little bit. Yep, yep. Well, apparently in this, in this last update, they fixed a problem they had with directional sunlight so that it's brighter in one direction. Then when you tilt the other direction, it changes because obviously the sun's in a different spot. Which, what is you know. It's built on. Like, what's its engine underneath for like the. <sighs> Unity from. Is it just Unity? I believe. I mean, don't take me to the bank on that. But I'm pretty sure I'm right. Oh. All right, you two could chip, you know, um, comma, bitches. Hmm? I believe I need that Jesse Pinkman meme. I have to really hooked up those, uh, those memes. It'd be so much fun. Fucking For my money though, I don't know, Nerby, if you took some of this whiskey, I mean, what would be fascinating for me, and I realize this would be hard, would be for me to rank my whiskey from the one I like the most to the one I like the least. That'd be hard. I mean, it'd be really difficult, right? Oh, you fuck that off. That is the second fucking The nice thing is it doesn't matter because he ain't gonna finish anyway, so fuck him. <laughs> I'm uh, still waiting. I'm gonna build Belichick his ass. Just be really slow. Hurry the fuck up. All right, fucking. I want to let him fucking finish because I want to see how long he can keep this up. Not long. <laughs> Did I say that all out? Not long. All right, 16 feet, level putt. These greens are motoring though, look at this. It's got some movement. That's tasty. I pushed it. I hit it too hard too, but I pushed it, right? Yeah, well, no. Okay, interesting. Felt like I pushed the shit out of it, but it was, was uh, a straight putt. Yeah, it was a minor pull, if anything. I just, I felt like I really just inside out of that fucker. So, interesting. Oh well. 
But anyways, what I was gonna say was, is that while it's hard to difficultly, like think to myself, like how would I rank everything? I'm telling you right now, this bottle would be much higher than a station. I really like this dram. Don't need to malt everything, man. Just get some fucking fungus to do the job for you. It's oh fine. God, is that what you're drinking? Yeah, <laughs> but it's so good. It's so good though. I mean, if I didn't tell you the process, you'd be like, wow, that's really smooth and great. It's kind of butterscotchy. <laughs> I'd be like, you're damn right it is. It's delicious. And fungus made it. <laughs> I don't drink it because fish fucking it. <laughs> See what I did there? Archer reference. Bill got that. Mm -hmm. Did I hit that that oh, hard? Oh, pulled the shit out of that. I mean, the pulling is fine. Like, I'm not suggesting I should have missed it, but I didn't think I hit it that hard to, like, completely blow it out of the circle. Four <laughs> miles an hour, though. Was like, it downhill, though? I don't know. I, don't I mean, maybe a little because I'm uphill here a little bit, but I, I didn't think, think it was that, that far much. downhill, though. Yeah, that seems okay. inappropriate. Well, it wouldn't be a round of golf at Brandon's <laughs> without Brandon <laughs> spotting you fuckers a few strokes to begin with. So I'll spot you guys a couple, and we'll go from there. So Bill's starting off like he did at Aaron Hills, fucking bird, <laughs> make a miraculous fucking birdie, and then, uh, you know, uh, do the job. 40-yard uh, wedge! 40-yard wedge. Oh, you guys are fucked! <laughs> what is that on the, that is a hot Break dog. <laughs> That's a hot dog cart with umbrellas on the, on the left. <laughs> and some kind of weird tarp barricade on the right, like. I like how this place gives you the, uh, oh, on the fridge, that's fine. I like how this place gives you the, uh, the little uh, 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 stool right to the left. So you're like, yeah, no, if you want to, if you need a breather because you're old and why the fuck are you playing here? Like, here you go, <laughs> bud. It's almost here looks real. I bet it is real. I bet it is. And the reason why was because when we loaded the course up, it said it was in Flushing Meadows. Right. Which is in New York State. So some part of me makes me think this is a natural thing. Oh, Bill's gonna do math. Oh, I backed off Nerby without even trying. I didn't even say anything about his weird beard and his scraggly whatever have you. You want my weird beard? <laughs> Give me another two weeks. <laughs> oh, harder. You give me two weeks, Nerby, I'll look like you. It's just an interesting butterscotch note, which is what I always get from drinking this. And I love it to death, like it's so delicious. All right, I'm going no glove, rest of the way. Okay, 40 yards, okay. It's real. What, you misreading lucky motherfucker? <laughs> okay, hey, we're gonna bomb. grab a glove. Hey, like, accuracy bomb. <laughs> I'll turn it on if you want. That's fine, I'll do it. <laughs> All right, well, maybe we'll put that glove back on, internet. <laughs> Jesus, Sage Christ. Uh, Apparently that matters. All right. <laughs> All right, 40 yards. Let's try not to do that again. Got away with one there. <laughs> Brandon, come look at this. Is it real? It is real. There's even look a at that. Dog <laughs> there. So, all right. So, internet, you didn't see that just now, but not only did Bill Google the fucking thing, but he Googled the fucking thing and got an aerial view of it. And sure, shit, it's absolutely real. Oh, uh, but I mean, somebody has to build that hot dog stand. Like you were asking me, Bill, about the Unity thing. It's like, yeah, it's Unity, but somebody's still gotta build that. You either gotta, gotta build that or you gotta find that you asset draw and plunk that. it, you gotta right? Draw like, it. it's actually fucking work. Mm -hmm. It's kind of nuts. I'm gonna just put this down in the. Woo! Shout out to Bruce Nash for the uh, putter holder, which I'll admit I was pretty skeptical of, but now to be honest, I rely on it quite a bit. So. Shout out to my friend Bruce, who you've seen on the stream in season one, who I'm sure will be back at some point in season two. These greens are no joke, though. Yeah. Like, they, they move. There's, they, they ain't flat. Oh, guess they're right for a birdie. Nice bird. 
Too bad you ain't gonna be here long enough. <laughs> Sucks to be you. You better start texting the missus. God damn it, I wanna win this thing. You gotta let me stay. Seven feet, one downhill. Believe that didn't go in. Oh my. Well, Bill, I'll let you get even more of a lead. You're up three over the rest of us, I guess. 59. Oh god, it's that fuck it. I can't believe that putt didn't go in. That was unreal. Went right over the lip. Shucks. Alright. <laughs> It'd be, fun to, it'd be fun to see a hole in one on this thing. I mean, <laughs> don't get me wrong, it's not gonna be like a real hole in one, right? right? Because I mean, <laughs> it's like getting a hole in one on the day night chip and putt, right? Uh, which is still on the board though. So, like, it'd still be good enough to be on the board, I guess. Because day night chip and putt on February, whatever, I've got a hole in one there. It was on stream and everything. All right, 59. Let's get it back. Ah! Oh God, what kind of hill is that on? All right. I bet that's not gonna be a straightforward putt. <laughs> as much as I'd like it to be, just based that on that rollout. That corner looked curvy. Just based on the rollout I got, I just, I don't know. I'm gonna guess there's gonna be some movement there. All right, so far I'm a fan. I like a 59 versus just again getting 30 every time. I feel like if your if your goal is to get good with the wedge, which it is, with varying yards, which it is, right? Like I'm in between two. Like I can't take my shortest wedge and go 80, right? So I had to I got to mix and match a little bit. But uh, but for anything basically less than I'm just saying, what was this? This was 59. Like that happens, right? Right. You're playing real golf, Bill, and you'll get occasionally 59 yards. So how do you, how do you respond? And if you're lucky, sometimes you'll get 60 now. <laughs> this is that moment where, like, the office, I wish that camera was a little closer so I could look into it like... Cringe. Like that happened? <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I'm doing a Chris right, Ansky? Yeah, you want me to stick around? I need you to... Well, me and Mike are tied right now. He's just got a, got a man up. Yeah. Something, something, man up. Don't make me pour more, pull more whiskey out of my house. Because again, I live here. So it's happening. Oh, just way too hard. Yeah, way too hard. You got this, bud. I got something to take the pain away. It's called bleach. I'll go get some. <laughs> Should have just put this fucker on bogey mode. Here's the key. Here's the key, Mike. The key is Bill ain't gonna finish anyway, so you're, you're not playing against Bill. You're playing against me. <laughs> Bill ain't gonna get done, and we were tied until this hole. So like, you're you're playing against me. See what I did there? So what the internet doesn't know is, it's not that I'm trying to get Bill. I'm trying to beat. Oh my God! The one arm putt has come out. Oh no! The one arm putt has come out. Oh three! Oh my God! On the third hole, the one arm putting has come out. Just end them. Just, just end them. Well, it'll be ended right here. Like either makes this or they're just gonna end the fucking thing. Um, but yeah, in reality, you're only playing against me. And what I'm actually trying to do, Internet, is I'm trying to dragoon Bill into having to stick around. <laughs> See what I'm doing there? I'm not actually giving a shit about whether me and Bill beat each other. I'm trying to get him to stick around. That is my move. All right, eight feet uphill. I'm gonna go in and get a bottle of bleach after this. It'll be great. Jesus fucking Christ, that's brutal. That is brutal. Well, you can birdie it again or whatever. Like I've lipped out two holes in a row. And now I'm going to get bleach.
minus. How do you do, bud? All right, you and me, how many in my back? Three back, huh? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. 81 though, wow, that's a lot longer than I would have thought. Like that's enough I have to go back to the bag, as I'm sure most of us do. Okay. I got bleach in the flavor of Black Hammer. <laughs> Black Hammer is the best bleach they make, Bill. Well, I don't know that it was pretty much bleach. <laughs> it's gonna be right oh Jesus what are we talking about oh my god apparently long too wow so okay so long sure 10,000 backspin and even then with 10,000 backspin doesn't matter the moment you touch the fringe yeah fuck off backspin which by the way in real life that's fair. I'm not saying it's unfair. So that's totally fair. All right, Mike, here's your chance. Wow, zeros. Ooh, it's on a good line. It's got to get up. Oh. You got to look at, oh, what in the fuck is in the background there, Mike? The weird bridge. Yeah, but why is it tilted so like it's falling over? I assume that I assume that's intentional and there's a reason for it. I just don't know it. Right? Cause doesn't that look like sideways to you, Bill? So, sort of. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and see uh, what uh, what to expect. Alright, you first, Bill. I assume it's part of whatever that structure is, that giant structure we see in the background. I just don't know what it is, because I'm turns out, spoiler alert, internet, I'm not from Flushing Meadows, uh, New York. Who would have thought? You know, me and everybody else, I guess, but that's fair. Stay in. Oh, yeah, too hard. Too hard. Oh, to the fringe. This is 10? You said it? 11. I said it's the same thing we, I said it's the same thing we played the first round. Yep. Yeah. Oops. And if you remember, they wanted us to set it to like a 10. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm like, we'll set it to 11. There's like a huge stadium over here. Okay. Well, that would maybe explain it. It's Chase. I don't know. It's like, tiny. Tennis or... Yards. Jesus Christ. It's hooked down to putter. All right. So we're fringe putting 27 feet, one foot uphill. It's more like a 30 footer. Too hard, too hard for 30 feet. Jesus Christ. Field. Is that the Mets? Who plays it? I, if you're asking baseball, baseball field here. If you're, if you're, city field. It's you, Bill. If you're asking baseball, I have no earthly idea. Like, it's the Mets. you could be asking me cricket for all I know. I mean, again, shout out to people who play baseball. Good for you. I just, it's just not my sport. I watch football, which is painful enough because I got to watch the Steelers play like offense like I'd play, which is not a compliment. These greens have been actually pretty tough. Yeah. Which again, I mean, it's a chip and putt. I would hope they'd be tough, right? Like, otherwise, I mean, it's a birdie fest. Otherwise, it's uh, like the drumlin bill. Mm -hmm. We're just mad capping birdie after birdie. Wow, that's a double. Nope, it's a single. Single bogey there. That's unreal. But like that was a three putt. Like it's just, yeah, golly. Got it on three putt, man. That's, that's a trick. Oh, we're still doing one arm putting, are we? Oh God, here we go. All right, one arm putting, motherfucker. You got a par, you've got the box. Me and Bill didn't make a par. All right, 45 over the desert. <laughs> what well, goes for deserts in Flushing Meadows. All right, I'm gonna skew the black hammer and go, by the way, and by the way, if this doesn't cheer you up, then you need to just, I don't know, kill yourself. Anyways, this, we're doing a Irish whiskey tasting tomorrow, as everybody has heard. This is the second best Irish whiskey I have in my possession. This is the Glen, Glendalock 
which is how it's pronounced, by the way. And if you think it's Glendalo, which I always did, then it turns out we're wrong. It's Glendalock. <laughs> Glendalock, seven year, housed in a mesonura cask. Mesonura, by the way, a wood that is notoriously shit to deal with. Yeah, Internet, you just saw Mike did, do a little dance. He's doing a little dance. You know why? Because he's doing a little dance knowing full well that Bill's 100 and it doesn't fucking matter because he ain't getting done anyways. I have 30 minutes and then I have you, You're not getting done in 30 minutes. You're, you're going to need at least 90. Sorry. You fuckers would shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that is not where you're going to win this battle. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, uh, not as good as I'm about to do, but not bad. All right, 45. <laughs> that that Glendalock is delicious, by the way. It really is. And by the way, Glendalock doesn't make a lot of things that aren't delicious. That fucking Rose Gin is delicious. You're not getting done. I'm sorry. You gotta you take that up with the other powers that be, not me. Rose Gin. Hmm? Rose Gin. Rose Gin is delicious. It really is very good. Bill, you've had that Rose Gin. I have a bottle. It's very good. It's very good. The story's even better. Yeah, I get that. So thanks. So, just surprised that's so short. Interesting. I know you should want to part about four times more. All right. So, you too, bud. Just a little short. Okay, that's not bad though. Mike's closer than me. Well, I missed I missed the green, so I deserve it. But um, I'm just I'm still a little shocked that I missed the green though, because I didn't think I hit that that badly. <sighs> to end up short, but I mean I did, and this is why we need to play this. Let's just be clear. I'm not blaming the sim here. I'm blaming me. Like this is just not a yardage we play a lot. So how does this hold up, Mikey? I haven't had this in a while again. So one nice, Jesus, hit the ball, Alice. Yeah. Uh, so one nice thing about having a lot of bottles of whiskey is that you just don't have them all the time. So every time I get to revisit this, it's like, it's been months. It's still raining. I was just outside, it's still raining. Yeah, no shit. Can't wait to get to my basement. It'll be fucking amazing. Because mm. I have no gutters. So it just drops down straight and then seeps in through the cracks. <laughs> The one, the one, tile or anything. I do, but it's like the one place I have a problem. I have like, I've been doing as much as I can, but it's like, oh. you can only do so much, right? Like, you so. You one handed that, Mike. Oh, uh, <laughs> don't, don't encourage this shit. You two handed it. Cause you ain't get, cause you ain't get a finish and Mike has got to worry about battling me. You got to place a break there. Are you not playing break? Just saying. I know what you did there. All right, Mike, you're still up. Six yards, buddy. You're up. You, you're up. You've had the box for several whatever. Yeah, that is a special building, obviously, of some kind. Because yeah. you don't get that shit for free out of Unity. You had to, like, do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's downtown central. Like, this is just kitty corner to a couple of busy... This is one of those fucking things where... Play at City Field. Well, this is one of those... Don't. This is one of those fucking deals where it's like, you get a lunch break, and you're like... Yeah. Let's do a little chip and putt. Because to be honest, like, you fucking blokes, like, yeah, fucking a right I'd do this. Like, it'd be like, yeah, it's noon. Hey, guys, we're going out, right? We're going out to the chip and putt. Throw your two wedges and your goddamn putter in the car and we'll do the shit. Yep. Grab a hot dog at the shithead hot dog stand and go get your chip and putt on. By the way, can I state for the record, this is what we're missing in Fargo, right? What we're missing in Fargo is a chip and pot course. Because yeah. none exist. It's like El Zagel, but it's just a touch. Of yeah, but there. El Zagel's not, yeah, El Zagel's a par three course. And by the way, par three courses are fine, but it's not a chip and pot course. Right. Um, what's the closest we have to this? FCCs? Little, little fucking shithead par three thing they have over there, probably? Have you ever played that? Yeah, yeah. have. Have you? I've never, I've never played it. I played it at the Bobcat Open. Yeah, I've never, I've never played it. I've been next to it, obviously. I've been in the vicinity of it, but I've never actually played the damn thing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the Vader Wedge. 
10K Ripper. Vader. 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 <laughs> Damn it. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, fuck. So funny. Anyways, I really like this Glenn a lot. But no, the Rose Gen, the story is what's so great about the Rose Gen. If I, I'm sure I've told you the story, but the story is amazing. It was the guy who runs the distillery. His brother was getting married, and their mother, their mother had passed away. And their mother, oh my God, what kind of fucking pun is this? Jesus Christ! Um, their mother had passed away, and her name was Rose. But even beyond that, she had a she had a rose garden that she loved to maintain in her free time. And so the first batch of this gin that they made, they actually went to that rose garden, her rose garden, and uh, picked the rose petals for the gin. Sorry, thank you. Um, and then he made a batch just for his brother's wedding. That was it. And then after that, it turned out so good, he's like, I guess we need to make this more often. So they did. Jesus fuck. I mean, god damn, those things are quick. I feel like this would have played more fun if it was El Zago slow, like at the 9. <laughs> Where they wanted us versus me putting it to the 11s? Maybe. I mean, we're good enough putters as that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, you give me that putt, I maybe make it half the time. Like, that's, that's hard. Very hard. I mean, yeah, maybe we have to do this course. And and by the way, we never played this course before, so thank you for whatever. Like we've never done it. But like, does this thing need to be in? Jesus, that's not even in a circle. You putt again. I that happened to me two holes ago. So yeah, yeah. Mark, Fucking ain't right. This is my ball right here. That two holes ago. Two holes ago, look back on the stream and see two holes ago when I hit that thing and I'm like, I'm not mad I missed it. I'm mad about how the fuck did that go long? Yeah, how did that go 12 feet? I literally hit that only six feet. I'm with you, brother. I'm with you, cousin. Jesus Christ. I'm with you. I'm, hey, just be happy it was for par because mine wasn't. All right. 49, baby. I do like this course, although, yeah, you're not wrong. It might be drumlin' rules of like, need to play on slower stimps. Mm -hmm. Just to make the putts manageable. Look at this dead eye dick. Motherfucker right here. Is it gonna rip? No? Yeah. Well, I ain't next time. Fucking, I'm getting my ass handed to me. Although I'm two ahead of the only guy who's gonna finish, so I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. See what I did there? Still doing this. Still still trying to get Bill to... <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that's gross. Oh. Oh my God, I'm never getting that out of my brain pan. Oh, that's great. That's great. Mike was doing things to that glass that are frankly un-American. All right. 49, 49, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I might drink the bleach after this. It might happen, Mike, just, just. Mike might need that. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, hold on one. It's the only way I'm gonna erase the madness. Here we go. Back up. Oh, so little back up. 8,000, okay. All right, that's fair. <laughs> All right, M. Nervy, you're up there. You, you fucking, um, 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 Big Lebowski with the bowling ball, Good. motherfucker. Yeah, no, that's what happened. That happened. No, uh, I witnessed it. <laughs> Can't wait till you watch the replay. <laughs> you better get him a red. Do you understand the phrase cringe? A hello, Uber. Too much. Oh, yeah. No, God, these. 
again, they're only 11s. Like, it's the same greens we played on, gentlemen. It's just they're a lot more. So you got to really pay attention to that shit. And I say that full well knowing that every one of us has done exactly what Mike just did, which is just blew it right through the circle. Or Bill, maybe it's Drumlin Rules and we play six foot gibbies. Oh, Bill just makes that nice putt. It's too bad it doesn't matter. <laughs> Hey, I want it to matter. I'm the guy playing for that. I'm just saying. You have 15 minutes. That'll you are not getting through another 11 holes in 15 minutes. You just gotta build up enough lead that you can uh, just uh, stroke limit me out. Triple bogey you out? Good luck. Good luck. I root for your success. Just gotta get enough holes in. You're gonna need a few more holes than this. Oh, God, nice pup and nerves. Nah, that's exactly why I missed it. Yeah, face. This is a double breaker. Straight. You just throw it. It's fine. Well, the first one and then the second one. But yeah, and I, I think I have to play it straight. Cool. Just down nine feet. Straight my ass. Straight my fucking ass. You pushed it. I know, but I still missed it off the left. So straight my <laughs> ass is what I'm saying. And I think uh, I'm vindicated by that. All right. So you can go fuck yourself. All right, jeez. Just saying. Don't be so harsh. I'm not being so harsh. I'm just saying, yeah, no, straight my ass. Fuck me. So that original break bill played two degrees. Right? Yeah. Wow. I mean, again, there's nobody to blame but me, but holy shit, that was a big deal. Nope. Overcorrected for the, uh, Ooh. to the pull and uh, Captain Blasto. Okay, me next. All right, 50. All right, I don't hate 50. I just need a putt that's fucking sane. Ooh, okay. Right, 50, yeah, I mean, my God, that putt there, I agree with Bill, by the way. I do. Like, that looked like a perfectly straight putt to me. And it was decidedly not even close. Oh, a little right. Yeah, the greens are weird. There's something weird about this course. Well, I mean, 9,000 max spin. I'm used to seeing it back up a little bit more than that. I think it should rip a little bit. I mean, maybe the maybe the soft plays. Because remember, the greens are soft. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Is like, is that affecting? I mean, in a way, I'm not probably privy to. Sure, I would agree. Right, like. Because yeah. I mean, we just got done playing Aaron Hills, where I'm watching my hard greens rip like a motherfucker, mm -hmm. and now we get the soft greens and. Yeah, and maybe that maybe that's fair, right? Like think of El Zego, right? Like you're not backing up balls at El Zego. What are you talking about? What are you what are you what are you <laughs> daff? Right, and for the exact reason you just mentioned, hundred percent. Jesus Christ, I gotta pick it up here. Oh god. You can pull get in the circle at least. Thank you. You bill motherfucker, you're not in the circle though. What? No, you just oh, tr fuck. just trickled out. Just tri <laughs> I'm not I'm not fucking with you, just trickled out. Right, well, not by a lot, like you'll make it, I'm sure. I knew, but I knew I did a bad putt. Well that's what I thought on the last five foot eleven inch. Hey, hey, fair, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. You ain't wrong, internet. You ain't wrong. Okay. I'm gonna finish dying off the scoop. Yeah, shit happens. That's what I'm saying, Mike. It's you and me, buddy. Kick, kick we're close. We're only, we're only, we're only. This is if I give Mike my score. We're only three apart. We're only three apart. That ain't that much, guys. We have eleven fucking holes left. If you're telling me three down is enough, my God, I quit pretty early on those village rounds. Jesus Christ. Six inches. God, that is such a scary shithead putt. God damn. It's still wet. But... Well, it was six inches downhill. Yeah. I just didn't want to have another blast through the fucking circle, which I've already had like two times. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's only three. Yeah, it's three strokes in eight holes. Like, and by the way, if you can come back on any course, how about a course where you'll never have more than about 40 to 80 yards? Like, come on, man. Like, you can make birdies with good shots like that. I mean, not putting like that, because that's a shit putt. <laughs> Said the guy who just saw <laughs> Said the guy who's also just made shit putt after shit putt. But, uh, it's too bad Bill won't be around, like, you know, because, you know, hey, shit happens. By the way, look at this straight fucking putt Bill had that he just missed because he hammer stroked the fucking thing. I don't know why he did it. He just did it. He had the straightest putt of all of us. Yours and mine broke like, oh, so you see that Oops. bridge in the background? That was pretty cool. Because, again, somebody has to build that. Like, could you imagine spending four hours building it's a like bridge? A weird little park carved out of a corner between the most industrial, yeah. commercial zone you've ever seen. Otherwise known as New Jersey. <laughs> like, well, Flushing Meadows is right across the river, right? If I'm right about that, I'm pretty sure I'm right about the geography on that. No idea. I think I'm right about that. I could be wrong. All right, 84. That's a ways. Okay. My goal is just to finish. The spin, though. Bar. These soft fucking greens don't spin worth a shit. Yeah. All right, I gotta tell myself that. Like, do not carry these long. They just won't, they're not receptive. Hey, what are you doing? I'm setting you up. Okay. <laughs> Trying to help you hit the green. Speaking of people who we need to get a cab for. <laughs> okay, I forgot I bogeyed that one. What? What? Should what? I, I don't know about that, if I'm being honest. Like I'd support a. I don't agree with. I don't think I don't think you only hit it 12 degrees in the air is my problem with that. Ah uh, yeah. You know, because no, this. I had a 50. I mean, you did not hit it good, but I no, thought you hit it better than 12. Said I had a 58. You got the button, Bill? Can you just hit it? Yeah. Gotta wait till it's his shot. I bet. Oh, I can't remember. It's been so long, guys. So go ahead and hit your shot, Bill, and we'll go from there. I just. I don't, you didn't hit that good, no, but I, I thought you hit it better than 12 degrees in the air. Like, that's a that's a driver shot. Oh, yuck. Go, baby. That's fair. I mean, that's what it felt like. Okay, so now I hit the mulligan button and see what happens. Okay, let me do it. Oh, I gave Bill the mulligan. Crap. Well, go ahead, but I don't know what happened there. Yeah, I don't know if we're... We missed it. We might be screwed. I don't know. I Again, that's on me. Yeah, it's, it's been it's been an entire winter of me being, like, not, you know, uh, an entire summer of me not being in here. So yeah, Mike, I think I think you're hosed. To be fair. What? I, I put it back where I thought it was. Yeah, yeah, no, that was nice on you. Um, <laughs> to hit it exactly where you hit the first shot. That, uh, that was a good strategy. I mean, you hit that first shot badly. I just didn't think you hit it that bad. So all right. I don't care. So, hey, thank you, Dan R. Yeah, no, the setup in here is pretty good. Um, we, this is my second simulator. Oh, nice shot, Bill. This is my second simulator that I've set up. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty great. It's a giant outdoor building that um, had a, uh, it had a nine-foot ceiling in it, but I had a bunch of people decide to, like, bridge the gap, right, and put a bigger ceiling over the top of it. And it, it worked out pretty well. So, yeah. So thanks, I appreciate that. If you're building, um, if you're building Dan, a uh, simulator of your own, just let me know, because I tell you what, I built two of them now, and I have a little bit of experience in that, so. What? Hit the screen. Oh, I got you, give me a sec. There you go, should we good? Good Wonder. Uh, was it, we didn't have the problem with the mulligan. No, it's because I just clicked on the stream chat yeah. here a second ago to move it out of the way for the mulligan thing. So. 
too much. It's too much. All right, boys. Thanks for the fun afternoon. As always. I'm out of here. All right. I'll uh, take the. Where'd you park? Well, I'm just right in front of you, over on the side. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So. You gonna go out the dog door, or yeah, you want to go out the, the dog door? All right. Keep you I here. appreciate. I appreciate the uh, not having to open the thing because I still haven't replaced that battery. Yeah. All right. Which is dumb. So. See you. Boys later. See you. Take it easy, buddy. Yeah. All right, chat, so Bill is fucking off, which is why uh, he has no chance of winning this. And by the way, we hate Bill. Hate Bill to death. Think Bill's the worst guy. Oh, fuck, you're still here. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, you forgot your mic, though. Yeah, no, that's yeah, fair. No, I almost ran off. I, I wouldn't have remembered to have stopped you. So Mike's taking off his, uh, or Bill's taking off his mic pack. By the way, saying mic pack when there's a guy in here whose name is fucking Mike is really hard. Just saying. I think my pack may have died at some point through there. Did it really? All right, well, I'll find it, it in the stream. Earlier, and I thought I maybe sat on it and turned it off, and then it was off again. So You should have said something. You should have switched to the other. I have an auxiliary pack, okay. so. I didn't know okay. that it was dead. All right, well, next time you notice that, say something to me. Okay. But either way, like, we'll deal with it. Yeah, it might not sound great. Mike, are you still alive? Here's this. Like I'm still alive. Sure. Yeah, both of us are still alive, actually. Okay, yeah, you see the thing over there? So. Sorry about that. Take it easy, Bill. Yep. Nice seeing you, bud. Okay, yep. sorry about that, Internet. All right, we're doing this 12 feet. I'm a little uphill. I just have to be Mike, apparently, because par three courses don't go on the board. So just playing for pride. God blessed. Oh, my God, these greens are complicated. Ah, so we're doing a deal. Where do you put his mic pack, by the way? Mm -hmm. Where the hell did he put it? Oh, he put it back there in the wall. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay, I just have to make sure I charge it, that's why. All right, cool. Oop. Sorry. All right. All right, Mike makes bogey, Brandon makes who the fuck knows. Brandon's got a four shot lead going into the turn. All right, and we're gonna keep doing this whole deal, yo. All right, 41. I don't hate this course, Mikey. I mean, some of the uh, charm of the day night chip and putt is lost by like, you know, weird shit and windmills and fucking weird things. But it's kind of nice to have 80 yards and some weird like yardages every once in a while. These soft greens, though, man, like getting used to those is a big deal. A little bit. It is a little bit, so. Yeah, Dan R., I, I tell you what, like, yeah, if you ever want any tips on setting up a golf sim, I'm your guy. Oh, look at that. So he just said something there. So let's see, I've built one of my garage currently, which I've been tweaking for the past year and a half from only being able to swing a seven iron so now I can currently swing a driver in there and I'm running a Rapsido and X putt, but I'm loving GS Pro. Yeah, we, we have the same experience. So Mike here has been with me long enough to know my first setup, which was TGC 2019. Oh fuck, I need to kill this guy. TGC 2019 and uh, we had uh, Skytrack, right? Yep. And uh, it worked, again, it was fine. It did not work. But at the same time, like, it was a process. All right, how do I kill this guy? Empty? Do I just do that? All right, there you go, nerves. Thank you to GS Pro, by the way, for fixing that, which is amazing. It never used to work that way, but it does now. Whoa, god damn. Oh, we have drank a lot. Oh, you've been an OP. Oh, boo. Thank you, sir. May you try again. <laughs> Anyways, what I was saying there, Dan, is, is that uh, we used TGC 2019 for the longest time, and it was fine. I had no problems with it. I mean, the great thing about TGC is you have a lot of courses to choose from, and that is pretty amazing. I even designed two uh, courses that are still in the game. 
and it's great. I mean, it's fine, it works well, but I love GS Pro so much more. I mean, I mean, Mike, you can talk to this, bud, but like when we started using GS Pro, it didn't take more than a round or so until we were like, this is the one we need to use. Pretty much. Yeah. So we liked it quite a bit. As far as my sim setup, I know everybody um, who has seen this later on YouTube. I owe you guys like a sim setup video where I just walk around with the camera and show you guys exactly how I did everything. Um, I'll do that at some point when I have some time. Um, so I should definitely do that. Oh, Mike, you're not losing by that much. And now you gotta put twice. Um, but, um, so I owe you guys that, uh, so I'll do it at some point, but, but yeah, it's a very, very specific setup in here that has made it work. Um, it's just a lot of, uh, building containment by myself because the first time I built a golf sim, I bought containment from Carl's Place, which by the way, Carl's Place is great. Nothing wrong with that place. Uh, but the second time I had so much more room and I decided... I could do better. And so I built it myself. And uh, and yeah, it worked out quite well. Hey Mike, that's a soccer field. That's a couple soccer fields. All right, 51. All right, what are we gonna do with 51, Mikey? Yeah, it was a little quickie. Be okay though. <clears throat> you picking up the uh, kiddos today, Mikey? Yeah. That is what I suspected. Reed, what are you doing? Stop hitting that hosel. It's a good thing I missed her though. Yeah, yeah, I know, no shit. <laughs> I assume it was a hosel. I don't know that for sure, but I'm like sure it was a hosel. It's hard to get it that far over unless you find the hosel. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Tug the shit out of ah. it. <laughs> Whoop. Yes, sir. Fully started using GS Pro, to be honest, and never used TGC 2019, but loving the community and how many courses that have been added in GS Pro. I, I couldn't agree more, Dan. I mean, The GS Pro community has been phenomenal. And if you only tuned in late to this stream, I can tell you right now, like the, um, um, I'm a Patreon subscriber to TechBud. He's one of the major guys who designs a lot of courses. He has over 100 courses in GS Pro. And um, I'm happy to give him my money for no other reason than he does a lot of amazing work. Um, if you saw the beginning of this stream, we played Aaron Hills. That was his course that he provides for Patreon people only. Oh, nice putt. Um, and uh, yeah, he's great. So, but the community is wonderful. You get on the Discord if you're not already on the Discord, Dan, and it's, it's amazing. Like, everybody's there, they're willing to help. It's just a really fun community. Is it as many golf courses as TGC? Absolutely not, but they're quality courses. They're all really good. Dang it! Aww. That didn't work out. Okay, 40, Michael. So yeah, I do always Dan a uh, video on the sim setup. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, my first sim I set up in my, in my garage. I had a three stall garage and I set it up by myself. The second sim here, I have like an entire exterior building. 
dedicated to it, which is pretty great. Too far, the soft greens, man. Interesting how much more hard greens, whoops, hard greens versus soft greens matters, Mike. All right, so, and by the way, Dan and internet, I have completely slacked off on the I'm drinking whatever. <laughs> so I haven't matched the last like two or three of these. I think the last one I got was the Korean one. And that was about four grams ago. For those of you who are still following me and Mike, we are drinking the Black Hammer from my friends at Rock Filter, which, um, which are particular favorites of mine. I have not been down to the distillery. I'd love to go. It's all the way down in the southernmost of southern and eastern Minnesota, which means it's a good goddamn like five and a half hour drive for me. But I'd love to go visit them. I met the owners uh, last winter and they're incredibly nice people. It's a husband wife team. And uh, yeah, they're, they're amazing. Mike, I haven't had this black hammer in quite a long time. So obviously it's their big one. It's their, you know, oh my God, look at this pot. What the hell are we doing here? Oof. Oofta. Same thing. <laughs> These greens are really deceptive. Really deceptive. All right. And this is a lot harder course than I think it, and it, I'll acknowledge what Bill said earlier. Like, if he was only playing um, nine simps, it's probably different, but wowzers, is it challenging. Sit, please sit. I airmailed the shit out of that. Golly. Uh, Oh shit. Okay. Test. Another dead. Mm, oh wait. No. What do you say? I got mine. Yours is alive. I got mine. Toast. Okay. God damn it. Where'd this thing go? I don't know. Mine was off too. Well, yours is on now though, isn't it? Yeah, it's on now. Glad he said something. I'm pretty loud though, so I always show up with the mics. They grab mic number four. Oh, I don't even have the mic pack associated with this. Alright, I'll hit my shot and then I'll figure it out. Alright, thank you for that though. Okay, 15, and then I'll grab a mic. Oh, stop! Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Although of all the people who lose their mic pack, I'm probably the best one. So I'm the loudest idiot in here, and it's not even close. Okay, 14 feet. Way to fuck a pill. Oh, Brandon! How far are you behind me, Mike? Yeah, you like, might actually, you just came back. Oh, Jesus, really? <laughs> I just have to beat you, apparently. That's all I have to really worry about, I suppose. Pretty much. God damn. Okay, let's hook this. My pack up that's never been hooked up. This is the one I have never done. Spin. Hmm? Yeah, I'm only getting 7,100. All right, hopefully people can hear me now. You're almost the same levels with a working mic. Yeah, Dan, I, I'm the loudest idiot in here. It's not even close. <laughs> not even close. I spent my entire life, I swear to God, like trying to like mitigate the awful sounds of my unbelievably caring voice. So you're not wrong. Like, I am terrible in this regard. Every librarian I've ever known has, like, basically told me to shut the fuck up. All right. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I'm long again, Mike. Because I'm going to get that backspin that I'm expecting on soft greens. If these were hard greens, it'd probably be a very different story. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. So yeah, so this is the first season. So we did season one of Frostbite Golf last year, which was a lot of fun. This is what we would call season two. And in season two, this is the first year we've had mic packs. Last year we had a mic on the floor. We just walked around and did whatever we wanted. Oh, got one. Um, we just walked around and did whatever we wanted. And it worked. It wasn't, it did not work. But the problem with it was is that it was a lot of echo. There was a lot of echo off the ceiling, echo off the floor because the mic was on the floor. It was just a heck of a lot of echo. Um, so this year, we decided to go with wireless mic packs. And I found a vendor out there that gave me a four pack of wireless mics. And uh, yeah, the uh, audio is, at least in my experience, dramatically improved. Go! Oh, you're me. Don't be me. I'm not a role model. As we go to four left, bud. All right, 58. I so the one thing I appreciate about this course is I like the variety in um, in distance. Because with the day night chip and putt, you're 30 to 40 yards over and over and over again. Here it's like it's 80, then it's 50. It's a little bit all over the place, which is kind of nice. Oh, too hard. Set, set, set. Please set. Jesus, I made a little thing. Oh, I finally got some backspin. Okay, 10,000. <laughs> All right, that's fair. You pulled a nerby. Oh, see what you did there. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Oh, goodness. And thank you, Dan, for the follow. We really appreciate it on Twitch. So thanks a lot, man. I, I appreciate it a lot. Um, we're maybe about, I don't remember what the follow count is, but we're maybe about 10 to 15 followers away and doing a little bit more streaming and getting some back and forth yeah. text for making the next cool. level on Twitch, which unlocks a bunch of great things. I want so I appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot. I about putted with Bill's putter. Jeez, you don't want to putt with Bill's putter. You don't want to be Bill in this arrangement. I don't know, it can't be any worse. I said that full well knowing he won at Aaron Hills today, so that happened. Pretty much. That guy. Although I want to say maybe I should have a shenanigans, right? Like, because technically it was a tie. 
technically was ahead of me by three strokes right away. And then, oh, look at that. So that's a stadium in the background. That stadium Bill was talking about where they play baseball, <laughs> it's in the background. Maybe you'll see it again here. I saw it in the transition just now, but let my ball get in the air here and we'll see what happens. But yeah, but I, I do feel like the tie should go to you guys because I do live here. And to be quite honest, if I wanted to drive you guys off this board, I could do it. Like, I'd just come out here over and over and over again. But I'm not going to do that because that's stupid. I would like there to be a lot of people up there. It'd be great. I'd love to see Blanford on that board. Probably not going to happen, but it would be amazing. Oh, way short. Okay, I got a putt for that, Mike. But yeah, I want to see as many names up there as possible. I want to come out here and have something to strive for. Uh, for those of you on the stream who don't know, there's a couple of chalkboards right up here, just right off the camera view. I should move the camera a little bit, but they're there. And uh, they track things like the best rounds ever hit in the sim. And which, oh, got a reprieve. And which GS Pro course it happened on? The best round in the sim ever right now is a negative five, five under par by me at Stream Song Red, uh, which of course is a GS Pro course, and it's pretty great. Oh, hang on. Second dude, in a second dude, it's it's over 11 p.m. over there. And you got a scratch tournament tomorrow in the morning. <laughs> well, I appreciate the sub over at YouTube as well. We're there, so if you don't ever catch us live, like you can totally catch the stuff over there on YouTube. And uh, by all means, shoot me some questions if you ever have anything. I'm here to help. It's no big deal. I've done it before. So, but yeah, you got a scratch tournament. Good luck in your tournament tomorrow, man. Like, we don't have a tournament because we're in North Dakota and it sucks here. It's cold. Me. Yeah. I know, right? Hey, no, that's me. Well, I don't know, putt better then. <laughs> but anyway, thanks a lot, Dan. I really appreciate it. You, you have a good night. I'm going to take it easy as well, I think, tonight. Because feelings suck. Me and Mike have been hitting the whiskey a little bit today. And move the other way. How did it move the other way, Mike? I don't know. These greens are deceptive. At Flushing Meadows. Mm -hmm. Very deceptive. Um, got a scratch tournament tomorrow in the morning. Mike, when's the last time we've had a tournament in the morning? It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while again. I just got an email here a little bit ago, actually. MCC's hosting an Arctic tournament, they call it every year, that I, of course, do not play in because I don't have any friends. What you do is typically like three, though. What was that? I said it's only three, though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Take the cold over being wet and windy in Wales. All right, so first of all, <laughs> first of all, Dan, let me tell you what. Uh, wet and windy, like that is literally exactly what we have here in North Dakota today. Mike's laughing because he knows already. Like, today we were in 40-mile-an-hour wind gusts, and it is 50 and raining. So we have exactly, we have Wales weather today. But that being said, like, uh, Mike, do you still have the Pendrin? Or are you gone with the Pendrin? Oh, the Pendrin's gone. What was that? It's gone. It's gone. Oh, You've yeah. drank the whole Pendrin already? Good for oh, you, yeah. man. <laughs> Anyways, Wales, Wales is pretty great, Dan. Uh, we're, a pretty, we're a pretty big fan of, I like Pendrin, which is a whiskey brand that is in Wales. They sell it here in the States. So you'll have to tell me how far you live away from uh, the Pendrin Distillery because it's pretty cool. We like, we like Pendrin here. The wife liked that one. The wife liked that one. That's, that's, that's a big compliment. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yes, sir. So anyways, we're big fans of Wales. I've never been over to Wales. I've never been to Scotland. 
The whiskey, Penderin. Yes, exactly. And you spelled it right even. So yeah, no, we're, we've had a bottle or two of that on the bar here. Um, so I'm a big fan of it. And uh, yeah, I've never been over there. I was supposed to come over to your side of the pond, if you will. What? I was supposed to, Hosel knocker. I was supposed to come over to, um, I was going to spend some time in Scotland and England and Wales um, right before the pandemic. <laughs> and unfortunately, yeah, the pandemic happened. So I ended up not going. And then, yeah, life and a lot of other things got in the way. But I would love to come over to your side of the Atlantic. I think it would be an absolute blast. I mean, if you like golf and scotch as much as I like golf and scotch, then obviously that's where you want to be. Like, it, you guys have that stuff in spades. So it's, it's pretty incredible. So as far as pendering goes though, Mike had a chance to have some pendering because, so we have a tradition, Dan, where like me and Mike kind of buy each other a bottle a year, essentially, for our birthdays. It started off as a goof because Brandon, me, uh, thinks birthdays are fucking stupid. And so everybody buys me something for my birthday and so then I have to return in kind. And so me and Mike buy each other bottles for my birthday. By the way, his fucking asshole birthday is coming up here. So I have to like dig deep and find something. Anyways. What? You've drawn the, what? Tell me more about that, Dan. I want to know more about what I mean by I drawn the, uh, yeah, tell me more about that. Anyways, so yeah, so Mike buys me something for my birthday of which he bought me that uh, bottle we had earlier, which is very good. And now I have to find a way to top that shit here in a couple weeks because it turns out Mike is old as dirt and is getting <laughs> even older. Who would have thought? Turns out, Mike, you're very old. Oh, speaking of very old shit, that sucked. <laughs> So yeah, so anyways, one of these years that Mike got older, which by the way is every year, in fact, we have it twice as much because it turns out Mike is very old. But in any event, one of these years, I bought him a bottle of Penderin. And the reason why I did it was because it was so fascinating for us people in North Dakota to get a bottle from Wales. Because for us people in the United States, right, like when you think of scotch, you think that sucks and it's so much better than mine. That's the stupid part. Um, <laughs> when you think of scotch, when you think of whiskey, you think of scotch from Scotland. Makes total sense, right, Dan? But at the same time, a whiskey from Wales is, what in the hell is that? Right? Why does that happen? Nice shot. So I bought him a bottle of Penderin. I don't remember which one it was, but it was one of the bottles. And that was great because I had a, I had a whiskey rep who, who would handle my need for weird. Let's see. I want to say it was the red one. The red one. But it was pretty good. And so, yeah. Um, that was a pretty bad shot, though, by me. I'll grant that premise. I'll grant that premise. I, uh, yeah, no. Don't look at the camera. No, 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 shut it off. <laughs> God damn it. It's pretty bad. It was pretty bad. I'll grant that premise. Oh, shit. Oh, brother. It's okay, I beat you, so it doesn't matter. So this last year, and by the way, this last year, I say this, Dan, like, this year is, it seems like it's a long way there, but me and Mike are both late in the year birthdays, right? So this year, Mike bought me a really nice bottle of bourbon from a place called Driftless Glen. And they make a very port forward, what in the fuck are you doing kind of bourbon, which is pretty great. And yeah, Mike's birthday is coming up in a week or two, so I have to top that somehow, which we're gonna see how that goes. <laughs> Boo! Boo! That was a tough round. You had four birdies ahead. That was really hard, though. I mean, I th I thought the greens were really tricky. Um, they were. The the chips were fairly straightforward. The greens were just very tricky. So, so yeah, when this gets to YouTube, Dan and everybody else who might see it, 
we'll probably split it up. We'll put the first half, Aaron Hills, in its own YouTube video, which will probably come out today. And then later on in the weekend, we'll put out the, uh, the new Flushing Meadows video, which will be pretty cool. I'm an architect. Architect. And it really is you from, really? It's about 20 minutes away from my house. We recently opened a branch of the North Wales, so I'm drawn to this. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I've never been. Again, I've always wanted to go. I'm going to put us on the, uh, the Just Me view here. So we're going to be there. Like, I've always wanted to go to your country. I, I, I've always thought it would be great. I was this close in 2019, and now I don't get to have a vacation or nice things. So, <laughs> shit happens. But, um, but that being said, like, I, I, I think it'd be an absolute dream sure. to go over there sometime. Oh, yeah. And for you and the missus, it'd be fine. Like, I could, like, I bring it up to her every once in a while. I should bring it up tomorrow. But that being said, it's always a matter of, like, where can you stick your kids for 10 days <laughs> <laughs> exactly. in order to accomplish the task? Because, yes, I have two kids. They're six and four. And... Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a all thing. I gotta say. <laughs> Turns out it's a thing. You gotta do that whole deal. So He's still you need to play World St. David's, which is my home course. All right. You know what? Hey, we'll check that out sometime. World St. David's, it'd be great if it was on GS Pro. If it's not, you should make it on GS Pro because that would be a real blast to have it on on there. But yeah, like when I was there, I remember like, of course, for us people in the States, when we're thinking about coming across the ocean, it's always St. Andrews. Can you get to, you know, rural Liverpool? Can you get to Burkdale? Can you get to Carnoustie? I mean, like there's those courses we always think of as like bucket list Even courses. Even freaking Royal Dornark. Dornark would be great. I mean, like, and then on top of which, you think about the ones in Ireland that we always forget about. Yeah. Like Port Rush. And like there's a million oh. wonderful courses in Ireland. And of course, for people like me and Mike, not only can you get to these amazing places, but drink amazing things. Like we like whiskey. We'll just Good gosh. There's <laughs> one golf course, I'm told, mm -hmm. on the entire island of Isla. And yeah, I'd play it because Isla and me mm -hmm. we get along. I think so it's just me. What? Could I think be. I'm the only one that's on now. We'll find out. Anyways. To the internet, thanks a lot. Thank you for the follow, Dan. We really appreciate it. We're going to come back another time. So if you're following us, check us out again on Frostbite Golf. It'll be great. We'll be back another time. See you guys. Usually Fridays. Usually Fridays. <laughs>